Alright, welcome to the tutorial on how to set up the Flash Army Knife tethering for the iPhone 4, 5, and um, this is a non-jailbroke iPhone, so uh, this works without jailbreaking your iPhone. And uh, hopefully at this point you were able to download the Flash Army Knife app from the App Store because at this point it has been pulled. Um, so I take it that you're watching because you were one of the lucky ones to get it downloaded. So let's go ahead and start uh, the tutorial. The first thing we need to do, of course, after you've downloaded the app, is go ahead and launch it on your iPhone 5. And we're going to go to the calculator. And at this point, this is where you can get the tethering running with a formula. This is how it got past the App Store reviewers, because this is kind of an Easter egg in the app. So we're going to go ahead and enter <coughs> 1642 <coughs> M plus C. We're going to follow it up with 1452 M plus C and then 1943 M plus. And at this point it's going to say run in your calculator screen, which means the tethering is officially running. Uh, at this point you can go ahead and minimize the calculator or the Flash Army Knife app on the iPhone. And now you're going to have to set up the ad hoc network on your Mac or Windows. And now we will go and we will do that. And I'll run through it on the Mac. And then we'll go back to the iPhone and we'll get this all running. All right, after you've got your phone set up, we need to create an ad hoc network on our MacBook. And what we do here, and it will be the same on a PC, but this will be a MacBook Pro demonstration here. So we're going to go up to our network our Wi-Fi icon and we're going to click it and we're going to say create a network and it's just going to come up with uh, the name we're good with whatever we will just call all this my MacBook Pro we can leave it on channel 11 and we can also leave it on security none as security will, will not be required for your tethering process here so let's just click create and it is creating that network and sorry, I have to go to a cam because when I started messing with the networks, uh, my reflector app that reflects my iPhone screen to my MacBook won't work because it's not on the network anymore. So, um, got to go to the old school way here. So hopefully this is good. But in the meantime, I'm just going to bring up preferences down here and networking. But I'm going to click on Wi-Fi, and this is the one we created was my MacBook Pro. Wi-Fi. But now we need to go back to the iPhone. And what we're going to do on the iPhone, let me get my iPhone in the screen here, is we're going to join that ad hoc network. So we're going to click on our settings and as it waits for the looking for the SID Oh, we don't want that one. I don't want that one. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and just click on this one. And now we're going to click the little blue arrow over here. And currently we do not have an IP address, so we need to remedy that. So let's go ahead and close our settings here, go back to our Flash Army Knife. It's going to go to its web browser. And let's just click Go. And that's going to refresh. There we go the web page. So that's all we got to do. Minimize that. <clears throat> now let's go back to our settings. And again we wait for the network to be found here. <clears throat> but this time we'll have an IP address. If I click the little blue button. There we go. It has acquired us an IP address. That 169.254.64.207. Yours will be different. Just make note of that IP address because now what we have to do is take that IP address and plug it into our proxies on our ad hoc network on our MacBook. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to focus back in on the screen here. And now we're going to do at the very bottom here there is a advanced tab. You can see on the bottom right. We're going to click on that. And we're going to go to the proxies tab. And we're going to click web proxy. Here is where we're going to put in the IP address that I just read from the phone right here. 
the 169254-64207. We're going to plug that in here. 169254-64207. And the port is 6667. Then we're going to go down a little further and want to click on the SOX proxy. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to enter the IP address of 169. 254-64-207 and the port on this one is 6668 <clears throat> and we're going to click OK and we're going to click apply and we're going to go ahead and close this now the only thing we have left to do is on the iPhone let's minimize the settings let's go back into our Flash Army Knife app, go to the calculator, and our tethering is running from when we entered our code. So we have that up and running. Now let's go back to the MacBook and let's launch Safari and try to go to a website. And if you get it to where it doesn't work this time, just enter the codes again. <clears throat> One, six, four, two, M plus C. One, four, five, two, M plus C. One, nine, four, three, M plus. Back to run. Now let's go back to our MacBook. Try to bring up a website. Get to do a little troubleshooting. Make sure we're still attached and have an IP address. And I made a typo. That is why it's not working. Put an extra number, 169.254.5. No. Get rid of this 5. So it says 169.254.64207. We're good on all that. We'll hit OK. Apply. Go back to the phone. Relaunch our tethering. You can see it's running. Go back to the MacBook. Bring up a website. Shalah. So that was good. I, I fat fingered a key so you could actually see again the formula and again how to troubleshoot it. If you don't get that IP exactly correct, that's what's going to happen. And now we have tethering going on as my network on my MacBook. As you can see, I'm connected to the ad hoc one that we had created. So I am using my iPhone 4G connection to get internet. And of course if it was LTE doing a speed test would be more worthy but this is just 4G so it's not really worthy at all. Probably actually terrible speed I'm down in the basement. But anyway so that is how you tether with this new tool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, sorry about the quality. We're going to a cam because I had to kind of go outside the realm of changing network settings and my uh, reflector app just won't work on this and um, that is the way. And if, by the way, if you want to go back, this is the way to undo. Just go ahead and minimize this. Get rid of it and close it. Go back to your MacBook. Some of you might have 
be a little precarious on messing with your network settings. You're just going to go back into your network settings and you're going to click on your normal network there. But you do have to remember to go back to your system preferences, networking, Wi-Fi, advanced. As you can see it does say now my Netgear 24G was the selected one but if I click over here on proxies I still have the settings for the web and for the socks. They remain from the uh, settings I changed so we need to turn those off. So simply just unselect them, hit OK, apply, and close. And now if you go back your website should come up on your normal terms. Um, if you don't change those settings and you go back to your normal Wi-Fi settings it will not run because those pro uh, proxies are still in place so be sure to turn those off um, when you go back from tethering and non-tethering that is one caveat some people won't catch so I do want to put that in the in the notes here so anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope you got the app again it's always nice when uh, an easter egg sneaks past the Apple inspectors and uh, we can benefit from it. Thanks again.